Hey Greens, and welcome to another Weird Fidget Toys video. In previous videos, we've seen so many weird fidget toy mystery boxes, but today, these were actually recommended to me online with these weird ads that look sketchy, but hey, it actually delivered, so... We gon' check them out. I have everything from ramen noodles, some weird tube thing, a marble cat, some elastic I I don't know, elastic things, I guess. And yes, this banana is actually a fidget toy. It looks really real. I can't wait to squeeze it. We have fidget massage balls. I didn't even make that title up. Do not look at me. I do not take responsibility for naming it. <laughs> And we have something called Pop and Play Connect. Let me know in the comment section below, have you ever seen any of these fidget toys? And if you have, which one is it? And do you like it or do you think it's As always, I'm going to be rating these fidget toys and give you my honest opinion whether it's tactile enough or interesting enough. As someone who has ADHD, I am now obsessed with fidget toys. But first, it has come to my attention that there is drama in the fidget toy community. <clears throat> and so it seems, in a previous video, I reviewed a Fidzle, which is a design that was stolen by another creator. So if you're interested about more information, I will leave the link down below. On a more serious note, one of the fidget toys that I reviewed, which is a peanut from this kit, was recalled. So if you or anyone you know has this peanut fidget toy, get rid of it. It was recalled for excess amount of some weird chem. Just get rid of it, put it in the trash. By the way, for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on all notifications, which will automatically turn you into a grain of salt in the salt shaker family. And we love sharp pointy things. And today's my birthday. Happy birthday. As you're watching it, it's my birthday. So why don't you join me on Twitch where I will be having a birthday stream. Go ahead and follow and click on notifications on there too. I also wanted to say that this is going to be the last video for 2021. So I'll be back on January 7th. I hope you'll have a great vacation. I really will miss you, but come, come to the stream. Okay, just come to the stream. I'll still be streaming during the whole holidays on Twitch. All right, with that said, let's just, I'm gonna move all of these. Let's go ahead and start with the ramen noodles. So everything from the packaging looks really cool. I absolutely love the way that this looks. It really does feel like it could be noodles, but we do have colors in there as well, which is pretty neat. And the packaging does look like that of typical North American ramen. And as we can see from the posting over here, it's basically looking like strands of string. I don't know if they have a special texture, but they are called Nido Ramen Noodles, squishy, stretchy fidget toy. And it did cost me $10 Canadian. And again, if we just scroll, they, the colors are really pretty. So I'm very curious if it's a good product or not. Oh, oh, what? Oh, I have goosebumps. What the heck? Okay. Ooh. Oh, that feels so good. It legitimately feels like gummies, just without the stickiness to it. Oh, this really does feel like gummies. Oh my God. There's a bit of a powdery feel, but it's not too distracting. I'm guessing the powdery feel is gonna wear off. Oh my God. After a few times of playing with it. So I don't know if you can tell, but there is powder right here. It feels like when you play with those mochi fidget toys, there's just a bit of a cornstarch feel to it. Okay, so here they are. Holy moly. Okay, the feeling for this, 10 on 10. Stretchiness, let's test it out. Okay, because they do show stretching, so. Impressive. It didn't snap yet. So far, so good. Huh. Oh, 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 oh. I see some integration, integ integrity. <laughs> integrity breakage. So I'm guessing you can't be pulling it as hard as I do. So without pulling it as hard as I do, this feels nice. I don't know what it is about it. It almost feels like when you have your hand in sand and you know when it just falls in between your fingers? This is the exact feeling this has, except it's not falling through your fingers and it's not causing that extra mess. So, oh my God, I am in love. Holy shrimp. 
Oh my god. And you can organize them. There's our colors. Yeah, these are just so colorful and really pretty. I don't know if they're out there cheaper, but look at that. That genuinely feels good. I'm gonna give this a 10 on 10. For those of you who are looking for a silent, tactile activity, this definitely fulfills it. I usually like obnoxious things like, oh, <gasps> this is obnoxious. I love it. But that's just a personal choice. I'm okay with things that are quiet too, occasionally. But I need my noise, dang nabbit. Wait, can I, hang on. Can I show the powder on my clothes? Aha, look, you see? There's the white powder. Doesn't smell really like anything. But yeah, the powder was right there. See? <laughs> I hope it's not gonna stay there. Because I can't contain my excitement. Banana. Banana. <laughs> I'm not even joking when I say it's called banana. Well, banane. Banane. <laughs> Stretchy, slow-rise banana fidget toy. And it looks like it does stretch pretty far. Oh, it's one of those. I think there's kind of potentially kinetic sand in there. I'm not sure, but it does look pretty interesting. Now I'm curious if it goes back to its size. This is not the one we got. This is kind of just banana-esque. Oh, it is, it's on sale. I actually got it for the whole $10, so. I got scammed. My banana is actually peeled. So, and it looks perfectly ripe. It actually looks like a real banana. Okay, first impression. Oh, oh, what? I got goosebumps again. <laughs> What's up with these weird fidget toys? Okay, don't tell me this doesn't look like an actual banana. Okay, let's pull it up. Holy moly. As someone who can appreciate art, now it smells like banana in this room for no reason. Does it smell like banana? No, it smells like paint for some reason. Okay, as someone who can appreciate art and sculpting, the actual details on this is very nice. I love the fact that this peel doesn't even look even. Look at the details. This is beautiful. This is a piece of art. You can even see the ridges on the inside. This is pretty stretchy. How's this doing? Oh my god. Look at it. I said look at it. Okay, let's get a nicer blue background so you can appreciate that. So we have the outside that's stretchy, the inside that kind of molds to different shapes. It legitimately feels like a banana without the mushiness and the wetness of the sound. I'm sorry I did that. Partially sorry. Part of me knows that it annoyed you, so I get joy in annoying you just the way any sibling would normally do. I have to annoy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, so the interesting thing is, is that it doesn't go back to its shape. Can we pull this whole thing out? No. Okay, so down here is very squishy. I really like this. Super, super squishy. And I guess you can put it back to its shape with your hand. This will stay exactly as you left it, and then you could just kind of put it like that. Does this not look like a bite? That is really cool. Okay, can we stretch this? Yes. It does have its limits though. I feel like if I stretch it more than this, it'll break. So still a pretty good distance. I guess there's different kinds of bananas that you can play with. Listen, don't take me out of context. There's peeled bananas and unpeeled bananas. It's all a matter of preference. You can have it peeled or not peeled. I kind of like peeled bananas, so. Get your minds out of the gutter. But this one absolutely feels amazing. The squishiness without the grossness, the details and the feeling, the textures on the outside, different on the inside. So this piece is absolutely a 10 on 10 for me. The texture of squishiness kind of feels like mashing a banana without the wetness or the grossiness and you can't eat it also. The texture on the inside and the smoothness on the outside. Also the art. It's a piece of art. If it really is five dollars now, just get it. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Ten on ten for me. I thought it would be salty today, but so far these are great. Holy moly. We've done something colorful. We've done something a little odd. Now let's go with the absolute weird. Here we have the fidget massage ball and it comes in a pair of massage balls and they show you how you can use it. And according to the site, it's basically called Ogier's fidget massage ball multiple colors. So you can get your balls in whatever colors you want. I just happen to have gone with blue. The pictures don't really tell us much other than they just look like spheres. 
with ridge ridges on top. It looks like they do rotate at some point, but I have no idea because the pictures really just show us colors and I have no other indication whatsoever. These were only $5, so I mean, it should be a bargain, right? If it's a fidget toy and a massager at the same time. I'm just saying. All right, so let's get our first experience with these fidget toys. Spin, twirl, flip, and roll, and massage. Perfect for play and relaxation. Rotate in hand to help ease stress. Okay. Lightweight and portable. So we can spin, twist, and flip. Got it. Oh, oh, these are these are pretty hefty. They they do feel nice in the hand. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so okay, oh, oh no. Oh no, these do feel nice. These actually do feel good. It's more of the adult, hang on, don't take me out of professional use office type because normally you wouldn't bring this to the, you could, depending on what kind. Depending on what kind. That was close. You could bring this depending on what kind of office you have. Oh my God, this feels so good. But if you're working in a kind of office office with computers and non fun things, this definitely looks inconsistent. Ambiguous. It could be like contact lens holder. So, okay, so they do rotate this way. They could rotate in opposite directions. So one towards the inside, one towards the outside. You can rotate them this way. You can kind of just do this. So the movements are pretty simple. Wait, can you rotate any other way? No. So you can rotate them this way. And this is mostly where the fidgeting would come from. It kind of reminds me of my favorite one, which is the ring. And I really enjoy playing with the fidget ring because it really is this kind of motion where you're just twirling and it's mindless. So it helps relieve that kind of anxiety or stress or even something to hold on while you're doing other things. And you can use it with one hand. Mind you though, you do need a big hand. So definitely not for little hands if I might say. They're they're pretty hefty and they have like this metallic feel. So yes. Okay, now for the massage part. Oh, is it massagey? Not, oh, well, let's try that. Yeah, yeah, I can feel the massage. Yeah, okay, yeah, I feel it now. It does feel good. It does go back and forth, but that that's about it. The whole back and forth movement. Let's try the neck, because they showed the neck. No, no, no. No, not quite the massager on the neck, but yeah, these are pretty good. I would give them probably because of the size, which is a little on the big side. I'm gonna give these an eight on 10. Still pretty enjoyable. This next item is actually much smaller than I expected. For some reason, I thought it would be much bigger. And it's just called Sensory Marble Maze Fidget Toy, which I thought the idea was really cute because we get basically a maze with a kitty cat and we have to push a marble around down to the center. That's my guess. The, thing, the only thing I can say is that we do have a goal, which is to bring the marble to the center, but we don't have an outer goal. So that's something that they can think of adding at some point. And it only costs three dollars. I'm pretty sure I didn't just pay three dollars. I feel like every time I go back to that website it just gets cheaper and cheaper. I got scammed! Alright, so let's go ahead and get a feel for this marble. How do you open it? Oh, it's by Orb. That's a really popular brand name, right? Wait, where did you go? Oh, that feels cheap. That is really cheap. Where's the marble? What the heck? What? Oh, there it is. Oh, that is tiny. Holy carp. Okay, so the marble's here. It's really small and I didn't feel it at first. This quality, by the way, feels more rigid and less soft than my actual dollar store felt. Just saying. So the quality is very meh and the marble, oh my God, it just doesn't glide. Oh, that is, that is a struggle. Holy moly. That is causing me more stress than relieving it. So let's say it's on the pad here, okay, on the floor and I'm supposed to move it. No. You can feel, you can hear that. Oh my god. Ow. Ow. Oh, that hurt. I'm legitimately trying to move this. This is not stress relief. What if I use my scissor? Okay, so the marble is here. If I want to move it, holy shrimp. Oh, that is not fun. Oh, wow. This is garbage. I was like, let's try the cute thing. The cute thing is the garbage one. Just be warned. Just because it looks cute, don't mean it good. Just saying. I mean, this was pretty good and it don't look cute. Life lessons here with Nerdy Crafter. <laughs> Okay, if we're not gonna put it on the table, and I do like the fact that it comes with a strap, but what's the point? Okay, let's say I'm just gonna move it. Man, you can hear my fingers crack. 
something's off. It's either the wrong material or the wrong kind of marble. Holy moly, I do not want to bring this marble all the way to the center. I don't. Just the thought of doing that is really just making me very annoyed. So I'm going to give this a 0 on 10. Absolutely not. Don't get it. It's frustrating more than anything and it would go in the trash. Bye bye. All right, now I'm debating between shiny thing. Oh my god, so shiny. Whoa, oh, oh, wow. Or these things here, which many of you have pointed out are called like monkey something? Monkey noodles. <laughs> so let's go with that one. Sparkly. Hello, Sparkly. Good to see you. And this here kind of reminds me of my childhood because back in the day, this here was very popular. I mean, quite popular because it's basically a slippery oh my god that is so shiny it is so pretty it's basically a slippery kind of toy that can it's almost like having soap basically is the best way to describe it but i'm curious if this one actually does move around like soap okay there you go it just needed some warming up to do. You see? Now it's slippery. I don't know if I would call this a fidget toy, to be honest, because it does escape and it doesn't have much of a relaxing kind of thing. You have to be very engaged to play with this. I mean, I guess you could. It's very aesthetic to look at. There's really nothing about this that I would consider a fidget toy. I guess if you're listening to someone talk and you just kind of want to fidget, that could work. It is pretty quiet. <laughs> But this tendency of falling off and slipping off your finger is 100% the intention of this, is what I'm saying. So because it has nothing really else to offer, other I mean, I guess you could put your fingers in there and I'm not gonna go into teenage thoughts. I'm gonna give this a five. A five. There's nothing really to say about it. Literally just soap kind of feeling. It's not wet, but it will slip out your fingers. See? And so now we have monkey noodles. This one, again, it says $4.99, but I'm pretty sure I paid full price. I am so salty right now. I got scammed. If you see it for $4.99 and you like it, sure. If you see it at the regular price I paid, I feel like it's gonna go down again and you're just gonna be salty. Just be very aware of that. And as you can see, it's just rubbery and it's very straightforward as a fidget toy. I did have the plain one and I thought it was really cool because I loved the texture and you could like make knots out of it and I thought it was absolutely fantastic. But this version here is very textured. I don't know if I'm gonna like the textured version, but I guess we'll find out and it looks like there's so many different kinds of textures from ribbed to bumpy to ridges I guess for different kinds of pleasure experiences is my guess different people like different textures everybody's different <laughs> so let's go ahead and see it's almost like for this one here the tangles I absolutely love the non textured version but then when I gave Pat the textured versus non textured he really liked the textured one so we have one each that that is our preference and here they are oh very noodly okay so let's take them out from the least which is this one again feels really good it has a very nice silicone-y i guess stretch to it and the feel is pretty good very very stretchy and let's see how it feels with making a knot yes Okay, so this is the least textured. Feels good. And then we have two of them that kind of feel like this. This also does feel very nice. Let's see how that works. Yep. This is a really good fidget toy. Honestly, if you're not sure what to get, I guess it's a stocking stuffer. This would be really good if you ever want to gift it to somebody or if you just want to use it for yourself. They do feel very nice. They have like, I like, I like making knots. I don't know why. Making knots is one of the things I like doing and then unknotting them as long as they're not too difficult. I mean, look at that. In real time, super easy to just unknot. So these ones went this way. Now we have one that goes with the length of it. It almost feels like there's no ridge on there whatsoever. However, yeah, feels good. I'm pretty sure a couple of my siblings are gonna take these away from me. Stretch is still pretty good. And now we get the lumpy bumpies. These are extra textured. I'm not crazy about this texture. I don't know why. It's very similar to the unicorn ones that I've done in previous videos where they're very textured. So for me, I just don't like the feeling of them. They still do the same thing. It's just for me, there's that extra added texture that I'm not a fan of. But the good thing is, is that these come in a pack of six. So you can share or you can keep them for yourself. I really like the colors too though. So for me, I would say these are probably a nine on 10. And now, 
pop and play. The website itself just shows it to be a connected kind of poppet toy. So it kind of reminds me of like the fidget effect cubes where you just kind of put them together and you can make a really big toy. We did make this huge keyboard looking thing because we kept getting keyboards. But yeah, it also looks like you can make different shapes and sizes, which I guess is pretty neat. And it comes in an assortment of rainbow-esque colors. But looking from the outside, it's really weird because if you scroll down, it does say rainbow assorted. It doesn't look very rainbow E to me, so we're gonna have to take that out and see if they actually gave me a rainbow. All right, did we get a rainbow or did they lie to us? Oh, oh. Um, that's a lot of reds. No greens? I mean, clearly there are greens, but we didn't get any greens, we didn't get any oranges. So we can't really make a rainbow-esque character. So keep that in mind. If you're getting rainbow, you're not actually getting rainbow. Well, you gotta break them up. Huh? You gotta make me cry. You make promises and you don't fulfill the promises. I don't know why. All right, so let's see how these things feel. So it is basically a poppet. Oh no. Okay. The pushing in is weird, but the pushback is very nice. And how do we hook these up? Uh, okay, there you go. There you go. So you can make... That is weird. Okay, hang on. So it's supposed to be this way. There you go. I want them to pop the same, okay? Put it in. Soft. Pop. Okay. It's kind of Lego-esque. I guess you can build your own shapes and do your own kind of form. But at the same time, it is a fidget toy. And the fact that these go onto each other silently by just pushing through actually adds an extra layer of you can take this anywhere kind of thing. Very nice. And so just even with a few minutes, I was able to put these together. And because they are double-sided, it makes it so that you can pop them on your desk or your table. So you don't have to worry like some other fidget toys which are flat at the bottom and you can't really do that. So I would say because it is a kind of Lego-esque activity, so it will keep that creativity kind of still building. It gets minus points for not actually being rainbow. <laughs> but yeah, playability and distractibility, it's the same as any kind of poppet toy for me. I'm gonna say seven on 10. Let me know in the comment section below which one of these is your favorite, at least from what you can tell or if you already have them yourself. For me, it's probably going to be the banana. It just feels like a banana. And the noodlies. That one just gave me goosebumps right off the bat. If you want to watch the previous fidget toy mystery things, <laughs> feel free to look up here. And if you want to watch me react to my first ever YouTube video, make sure you check down here. It was very cringe. Very cringe. Reminder, I am on vacation until January 7, so I'm wishing you all a wonderful holiday season and that 2020 New Year brings you everything that you do desire, especially health. But do join me on Twitch for live streams. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.